Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at some premium, some quality, some top of the line fifth wheels that you're gonna love. This one is a front living room with a rear bathroom that's huge. This is a 2022 Crosswoods Redwood model 3951MB. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this Crossroads and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited to be taking a look, kind of taking a paradigm shift from yesterday's videos taking right. a look at a super luxury high-end fifth wheel the redwood but before i begin gotta say hi to will hey will hey guys how's it going today it's going good we're still here in danville virginia and i'm excited to take a look at this redwood i have seen redwoods before um but this is my first time showing all of you guys one yes because i think the last time we ever showed one was um at the hershey show yes with Elijah, sir right yes sir cool well i'm excited to take a look again and will again this is a nice high end. it unit. is very high end also guys if you haven't heard check out our new website mattsrvreviews.com sign up for the new newsletter um we're, we're doing a lot of blog stuff now and there's only a few days left to get your limited edition t-shirt give me porcelain or give me dad that's right and will just saying we're talking about Hershey. You wear that shirt at the Hershey show. Oh yeah. You know we're gonna get you. And we price. do represent this at the Hershey show. Absolutely. Well, model is Crossroads 2022. The actual tip tip length is 42 feet two inches. The dry weight is 15,308 pounds, and the hitch weight is 2,732 pounds. Will, it's half ton towable, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> Not at all. Not at guys. all. You need a one-ton dually for this. Right. This is a big boy, guys. Yeah, you might look at your single rear wheel one-ton trucks. I I think that would be pushing it. I think you need. Yeah. The dually what was the pin this. weight again? Twenty-seven thirty-two. There's some one-tons that could do it, but you it's, gotta really be careful. You gotta know before you tow. Well. That's right. Up front here, we have a beautiful painted fiberglass front cap that comes standard. But truthfully, I haven't seen any redwoods that have the decals i see them all coming in full body paint. yeah i've never seen one with decals either i didn't even know that was an option right um full body paint looks absolutely fantastic i love this color this is like it a is. pewter it's so good looking with the red it just looks so good right here we do got the mori pin box here very nice underneath here we do got a little bit of storage uh -oh. a little bit of storage right there very nice and then right here is going to be prepped for a generator right there look you got the wiring yeah. cutouts and everything cool coming on down the side here will if you could try to get a good angle of that paint oh okay it looks absolutely fancy there we go it does yeah it's like pewter with like a uh, cardinal red just looks real good and it's redwood so it fits oh redwood yeah <laughs> who gets a blue redwood right it is an option yeah, right there we do got the uh, propane tanks. Cool. This does have six point hydraulic auto leveling, which is the best of the best for leveling. Okay. Right here, we do got a little bit of storage, not too impressive, okay? Does have the in command system, uh, centralized vacuum. I love your valves there. Yeah. And I like this little wall. Look how like clean and organized it right. is. Right. Little D ring to leash up your pets. And then there's your hydraulic reservoir. Really nice, but it's small. It is small, yeah. But it's nice. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. Over here, Will, we do got nice redwood steps. Hydraulic assisted. So it makes it very easy to lift up and put down. You don't need to worry about these big bulky steps falling. Right. Off. Nice power awning with LED lights right here. I think there's two actually. Redwood, okay. Little place to leash up your dog. And it's also a beer opener. Psh! America. Hell yeah. So there's two awnings, Will? I think. Yeah. Or one big one. Nope, there is another awning right there. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Saloons. I love those. 215-75 R17.5. And then, Will, look at this. So, little story, little story. We went to Lippert, and we learned about the Lippert road armor suspension. Right. And then Lippert's all like, oh, road armor suspension is uh, better than the Moride 
Cree 3000, Correct. CRE 3000. And we were all like, oh, Lippard, you're just saying you're the best. Yeah. This, this, but no, so the Cree 3000 is two point. Yep, with one rubber bushing. Right. The more I'd roared armor is four point with two rubbers. Correct. This is the competitor to the road armor, which is um, this is the Moride LRE 4000. Isn't so, that 4100? 4100, yeah. Interesting. Yep. So that's going to be a lot better upgraded towing experience. Yeah. It's going to make it a great towing experience. Yep. Very cool. Wow. This definitely oh, makes up yeah. for uh, that storage. Yeah, right there. Man. That's awesome. Really, really nice. Frameless windows throughout this fifth wheel. There's and that everything. second awning. Coming around back, you can see that this has a nice fiberglass rear cap right yep. here. So this actually caps over. What that does is it gives you a better looking a better looking rear. You know what I'm saying? It does. Right there, we do got a hitch with the four pin connector. Okay. That means you can technically tow behind this fifth wheel. We never recommend that. Ladder to get up on the roof. There is three AC units on the roof and it is prepped for the Furion backup camera right there. Okay. Finishing up, Will, we do have a nice uh, 50 amp power cord on an electric reel. What's up, Kevin? Is that who called you? Kevin Horky just texted me. Nice. Right there, we do got storage right there. Very the nice. Side. Yep. Um, tanks right there, which is really nice. And then right here, Will, is the other side of this storage right there. And then that's where you're pulling your tanks and everything. Okay. Finishing up, Will, that's where you dump one of your tanks right there. Not too bad. Not too good, but not too bad. Right. Truma Hot Instant Hot Tankless Water Heater. I love how they continued the paint. Yes. Very nice. Right here, oh, I love this. Auto leveling, keys, TV, uh, water purifier, water system right here. Outdoor shower, potable water. Potable, potable. Everything you need is all right there. And then look, they even have the cutouts for the pull valve. Oh, you're right. So why wouldn't they put them in here where they're safe and secure? It's, I mean, I know why they do it in there is for the insulation so that they don't freeze. Yeah, but, but I mean, and this isn't gonna, it's not gonna be as insulated. So maybe it gets them tested for lower degrees. Pros but, and cons, Will. Yeah. Another propane tank here. And it is prepped for the Furion 360 cameras. Okay. Well, Will, the outside of this fifth wheel looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. And Redwood has a two-year warranty, three-year structural. Cool. Very nice. All right. Up front here, you'll see that front living area. And coming down is this nice kitchen, dining area, and ba half bath right here. And the back is the bedroom. And then all the way in the back is the nice big bathroom. Are we starting up front? Well, we are starting up front. But first, let's give a big shout out to Lipper. This episode is sponsored by Kurt. There's a reason why manufacturers are all switching over to the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Jen and I went with the Kurt A16 fifth wheel hitch. Uh, this is perfect for our truck because we do have a short bed and it's on the slider. And it also makes it very user friendly with the red, yellow, and green symbols telling you whether it's safe to tow or not. With this hitch, it also, it wraps around the pin of the fifth wheel hitch so that it has the best connection and makes for the smoothest ride. This hitch also articulates in each direction so that you have much less chucking while going down the road. Making it a smoother ride and the best riding experience when yes. towing a fifth wheel. That's why Will chose the Kurt A16. That's why the manufacturers are using the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Thank you so much for Kurt for sponsoring this yes, video. Let's continue the video. Will, I don't know if I can ever get sick and tired of these front livings. I know, they're so every, nice. Every brand does them. Yeah. And every brand does a phenomenal job with them. I absolutely love it. Will, look at these sofas, okay? We got nice balances here. Oh my gosh, look at these shades. Wow. High class right there, I love that. There you go. It will be daytime shades and privacy shades. 
Ah, uh, there it is. There's the daytime shade. Cool. Very nice. Uh, nice leather furniture. This is this is like it's leather. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't know if it's real leather. What what what's considered real leather anymore? Yeah. You got the USB chargers here, and this does come out to make a bed. Will you know what to do? Over here, you got a nice big TV. Uh, nice like wall here. I don't know what that is, but it, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's like a hexagon. Yeah. A sound bar right there. A little storage nook right here. Oops. Do uh storage right there. Greystone 47 inch fireplace that does produce heat from electricity. And then the same storage and everything over here. And then well, just like this. Very nice. That's the bed. The other one pulls out as well. Man, and they must get really close, huh? Yeah. Well, it's for your NBA players. <laughs> yeah. So they can come camping with you now. That's right. That looks like a nice couch too. It is. It's like definitely extra high support. Quality. Yeah. High quality. And you know what? I saw something online. It's not Thomas Paine. It, it might be like their own custom oh. or something like that. It's really, really nice. Interesting. Love that backsplash. It just gives it texture and depth. Yep. Not only that, Will, you got the double AC units right like here, it, yeah. which is really nice. You're not getting hot in the living room. Correct. Which, you know, over here, we do have the electrical recliner seats, heated lights, massage, cup holders here. Cool. Um, It's not that comfortable. Really? Yeah. They should have just gone with the Thomas Paine, huh? No, I mean, I, I like, but but again, this is a personal preference. Yeah. If you don't like those traditional squishy couches that you kind of sink in, yep. you're going to like this. But yep. it's a little firm. Okay. Firm's not a bad thing. I just said, yeah. Personal I, preference. Right, personal preference. Coming on down these steps, Will. Now check this out. You guys have seen, we were in some keystones. So, so this is Crossroads, which is the division under Keystone. Right. But Keystone's Keystone and Crossroads is Crossroads. This is, and you guys heard us talk about in the Keystones last week that one, we hate in command. Right. Two, the reason why we hate it is because it's not a good screen. Right. In the new Keystones we did, they had like in command 2.0 or 3.0 yeah. or yeah. 6.0, and it was really nice. This is the traditional in command that we don't like, and it's just not. It's just not it's as not the same. It's not the same. Yeah. Oh, uh, you can tell this is a cheaper screen, so I don't like that. Um, but in command overall is making some big strides. Yes. And then over here, Will, is the slide out. You do have nice solid surface countertops there. Little table, okay. It's good for two people. Four people is improbable here. Nice big windows, nice little light fixture. And Will, did you forget to charge your phone last night? I did. I fell asleep and it wasn't on the charger. Well, good thing you got a wireless charger That's right, right there. Your phone is at 76%. There you go. Very nice. It's charging up. Charging her up. And then over here, Will, is a half bath. Okay. Got a nice little medicine cabinet here. Cool. And a um, nice little bowl. And then storage right there and there. And you know this is a bright porcelain toilet. For a half bath, Will. This is a prime poop position. Bing! Nice. But still, get your limited edition t-shirts, Will. You don't have much time left. That's right. Show us what we got going on in this kitchen. Okay, cool. I like this kitchen overall. You got nice storage up top here. Oh, I was about to say it's all soft clothes, but apparently it's not. Uh, nice refrigerator right here. Oh, yeah. Samsung. Pretty good size. Very fridge. nice. Nice size freezer here. All right. Freezer drawer there. You got some storage here. Nice little spice rack there. Kind of looks like it's off the track there. It a is bit. off the track, yeah. Storage up top here. So, oh, and another spice rack here. Can you, uh, yeah, move your big old noggin right oh, there? Oh, sorry. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get an email about that comment. <laughs> These are soft clothes, so that's good. Wait, they're soft clothes, then why'd you have to push it? Yeah, I don't like that actually. So it's soft clothes, right? But it doesn't latch. But it doesn't latch. You still have to push it. <laughs> Convection microwave right yeah. here. Yeah. Nice backsplash right there. Nice looking backsplash. Yep. Counter space on both sides of the insignia four burner cooktop. Dude, I mess with that. Yeah, residential size. Residential apartment sized residential oven. Turkey tested. Turkey approved. Jen, you better be adding in those gobbles. There you go. <laughs> Another little spice rack right there. And then look at yeah, this, look at this peninsula. Top space. All solid surface countertops. Mm. 
And I love how they did it like extra thick. It's not really extra thick, but, but they rolled it, it down. Yep. Drawers over here. Yes. There. Tons of drawers. And then underneath there. Yep. What is this? Is this, this must just be like a little touch-up thing, I guess. In case yeah. something breaks, I guess. Hey! Oh. That's a $156 trash can. Oh, this one's pretty big. Mm, man. Out. There might be more. Yes, sir. Okay. Nice spray faucet right here. Yep. You might have seen on the outside it had the fresh water oh, filter. Oh, so you get your fresh drinking water That's from that. That's right. Nice big um, single bowl sink here. Yeah. With these little inserts. Farmhouse style sink. And storage underneath right here. Very nice. And then over here, we do got the residential refrigerator. We already showed that. We already did? We sure did. Whomp, whomp. <laughs> All right, well, then follow me up to the bedroom. Okay. Right here, a little bit of pantry. Cool. In the master bedroom, well, we got a tilt up bed. We don't like that, yeah. but I, I don't really mind it for fifth wheels because nobody's sitting back here while True. you're driving anyway. Yeah. So, so who matters? What does it matter? Yeah. yeah. Nice bed, king size bed. I like the headboard. You got the windows and the balances, lights right there. Mm -hmm. Pretty, pretty nice. Look at this nice, um, what's you call it? Chair wall or whatever? Yeah. What's chair, chair rail molding, I think. Yeah, looks good. I like that. Yep, same thing over here. Another AC unit in the bedroom. And truthfully, I mean, that, those are the most important parts living yeah. in the bedroom. So this right here is a coat rack. Yep, that's cool. Yep. You have eight drawers underneath here. That's awesome. Tons of drawers in this thing. Yes, sir. I mean, this this is a unit that's great for full timing. Yep. It. Little place right there. TV. Nice little window. There is going to be no storage underneath right. the bed, but it's no problem. Will step on in that shower. Okay, it's an encore shower. So you know we love them. Oh my yes. god. Oh man, this is awesome. Plenty of head height even without this, but they put this in the perfect position. Plenty of width. Plenty of depth. I love this like whole shower system setup. Mm. Nice little teak seat. This definitely passes. Bing! Well, that is the shower That's test right. seal of approval. Yep. Right over here. First. Big old wardrobe space. Okay. Washer dryer prep. I believe. Oh, is it this? Washer dryer preps in here. Okay. And then here's where you're storing your extra chairs. Okay. Which is kind of useless. Like you're not sitting four people yeah. around that. And then over here, well, it's the double vanity. I love this. Plenty of mirrors, plenty of space all the way around. Cool, cool. Love that. Love the storage. Love this bathroom overall. Yes. And then right here, Will. Oh my God. This is a prime pooping position. Bing, very nice. Cool. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody goes, we got to tell you the MSRP, three things we like and three things we don't like. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike. First. Yeah, are you okay with that? Yeah, okay. Well, I do have one dislike. It is on the outside. Okay. Perfect. You got it. Okay, you ready? Um, yeah, what else is it? All right, well, what's dislike number two? Okay, dislike number two. I was thinking about something. Talk to me. Let's see if I can remember what it is. Oh, overall... In here, they are using darker colors. Yep. Truthfully, it feels a little dark in here. It is. In in like, yes, that's your dislike. That's gonna be oh, my I'll, dislike I'll combo too. It. Oh. Specifically, one of the big reasons I think that it's doing that is because there's no window on the front. Concur. And it's a dark like backsplash thing. So. Yes. And again, that's your dislike. That's yeah. my dislike too. But a lot of people That's opinion based. Especially this buyer, they yeah. want that darker color. Absolutely. It makes it look more elegant. Yep. So that's dislike number two, and then Will, dislike number third, uh -huh. for me, and it's funny, this is our second RV today that had the peninsula, Yep. Um, and in the first one we liked it, in this one I don't like it, because this RV is definitely big enough, they could have done better, they could have done so better too. in this kitchen, this kitchen's awfully tight, I don't know why, I don't know why they had to add this half bath, you know, they, they, they could have rearranged some things with this kitchen. Yeah, I agree. To make it a little bit of a better kitchen And layout. especially when I was in there, like getting the drawers open and everything, it was very tight. Yep. Yeah. Well, well, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about it. And Will, I'm going back on up. Okay. This bathroom, Will, 
is absolutely amazing. This is everything that I want in the bathroom. This yep. is the perfect size. This is not too big. It is not too small. I want this. I want this. I want that. I want that. Yep. And I want that. If we were designing the bathroom, it would be this size. Period. End of story. Write the check. This is fantastic. That's right. That is like number one. Will, like number two. Like number two, I'm going to go with... Um, on the outside, the paint job. Fan freaking tastic. It's gorgeous. I love it. Gorgeous. So, um, yeah, that's it. And not only that, well, the fact that they were painting the tankless water heater and everything. Yes, yep. Really, really nice. And then, Will, I'm going to add another thing to the outside. And it doesn't seem like a big deal, but it really is. Um, I'm going to say, and again, guys. Opinions? No, not opinions. Oh. We're sponsored by Lipper. Yeah. But I will give credit to any of Lippers competitors when credit's due. Uh huh. That Moride 4100 oh, suspension right. down there yeah. is excellent. So much yep. better than the Moride Cree 3000. 3000, yep. Um, and this is the first brand that I've seen put that on. Me too, yeah. Big shout outs for doing that, for spending. And it's not about what it is, it's about spending that extra money. Yep. Not only that, I'm going to combo that with the 50 amp power cord reel. Yep. That's just something important to me. In my motorhome, what I found out is um, a lot of times I've gotten really good at parking right next to the power, but I still need to log out that freaking 100 pound annoying. power cord. Yeah. Very annoying. So I love the uh, power cord. Cool. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine my, my fat butt just going straight <laughs> through? This and MSRP is not going to be cheap well, is it? it it's a it's a nice fifth wheel wheel yeah msrp on this fifth wheel here is one hundred and eighty nine thousand three hundred and sixty four dollars will that is msrp sale price i don't know the sale price right now uh this unit just came in so it's not on their website but guys we're here at rv outlet usa which is part of our rv retailer network of dealerships nationwide so it doesn't matter who you are where you live Go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com, fill out the contact tab. We will get you with the closest dealership that's selling the product that you're looking for. Also, please sign up for the newsletter. Read the blog articles. Guys, we're investing a lot of money on um, making Matt's RV Reviews just more than RV Reviews. We want to make it, like, bigger. So if you check out our website and sign up for that, that really does help. That's right. Will, anything you want to say? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Again, the Redwoods are just beautiful on the inside. They're so nice. And I love it. And when we're out and about camping, I see a lot of people full timing in these. Yes. So, um, great units. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you, absolutely, everybody, yes, so much for you. watching. And we'll we'll see you next time. Dislike number one, Will. These tank valves right there. I don't like that because when you use this area for storage and you turn too hard to the direction. All that stuff's gonna go sliding here, and guess what? It's gonna break. Those pole valves. It's gonna break those pole valves. I do not like that. That is dislike number one. Okay.